Hey everybody, from wherever you're visiting, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Um, just want to show you this uh, article here I found on efinancialcareers.com. Top quant PhDs are getting 400k pay packages to become e-traders. Now let's dissect this. Um, entry <clears throat> university base salaries get 125 hedge funds pay 175 base salary exceptional entry level phd quants can receive comp packages sign on bonuses worth up to 400k electronic sales traders are vulnerable to headcount reductions uh, and so and so on but banks continue to invest in quality and depth of electronic platforms while enhancing reporting and compliance. Uh, so, where they, they want Ivy League school with a bachelor's, master degree in a STEM field such as engineering, stats, or computer science. Hiring quants right after graduation. Uh, other candidates are tasked with contributing alpha generation on a systemic trading desk. That's the trends right now. Hiring quantitative researchers and quantitative developers to build and upgrade research platforms. Discretionary funds also hire entry-level candidates to create better screening mechanisms to help identify trading opportunities utilizing data science instead of just pricing quants. Hiring entry-level quants are a big part of a larger program in general to innovate. Entry are not actually trading right out of school, but a few are involved in research to uh, enhance alpha generation. Alpha being profit over a gauge like the S&P 500. Um, some of the best performers have seen engineers and sought at Carnegie Mellon, computer science at MIT, Oxford, and Cambridge. Quant researchers, uh, mathematics or background from University of California, Berkeley, Stanford for stats, MIT, and Harvard for math. Quant school fields include da 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 da. Um, uh, just trying to find here. These are international. Schools go on work as front office pricing quants, quant traders, middle office, risk quants, software engineer, quant research, data scientists, and at Goldman Sachs strategies. Uh, then they go after the uh, Master's of Financial Engineering. Cal Berkeley Operations research, research at Columbia University. High GPA in math or stats, sometimes physics. But understand this, and I've known about this. This has been going on for years. Hiring manager needs to prefer that because there's some teams that steer away from hiring physics grads considering their different approaches to solving problems. Other teams, specifically for machine learning, this is all a matter of opinion and theory with a lot of detractors. Uh, let's see what else we have. Being ranked in the top 10% of the international Olympiads, highly desirable, being quantitative and possessing sophisticated technical skills. Uh, with a background in artificial intelligence, machine learn learning is rising. They expect the trend to continue. Pricing portfolio, and here, here's, the, here's the key. This is where they put the emphasis on. A couple of other elite business schools extremely sought after for, this is what they want, quantitative research, asset pricing, portfolio, that's basically portfolio, well, I guess portfolio management construction, very important, strategy positions per. Uh, so those are the exact skills that are being stressed at uh, from schools, and that's what the pros are looking for. Some of the original pricing models were founded and have since built upon new modeling theory, statistics, and programming to better fit models and create more optimized portfolios for clients. Again, portfolio management is key. It's important. That's why you, a lot of the pros will spend 80% of their time on portfolio. Increase in data-driven strategies ramping up for competition for talent. They're saying it's rare and going beyond to pay premium to secure, secure them.
Best talent come from classes extremely selective and most are so well networked that they come out of school with three or more offers already in hand. Wow. So you can see how fast this industry is changing. So I'm sure you may not be coming out with a, uh, a, uh, a PhD. And if you are, I don't think you'd be coming to me. But if you're not, this is what you can do. Now, I'm probably one of the only sites out there that does this stuff. So if you come to my website, anywhere on quantlabs.net, you, you, you can click on at the lower left page, these Quantcast metrics. Okay. What do my Quantcast, this means I'm third party verified, uh, according to Quantcast here at quantcast.com. The site is what they call verified, that little check mark right there. And what that means is that people can see what kind of traffic based upon the little pixel that they give me and provide at the bottom as a setup on my page. So this basically means that right now, uh, my demographics is very important to me. The two things that I really care about is level of education. So you can see that over 234 out of the total here for education do have graduated school level education, meaning MBA and up. The other important one, the most primary is this, household income. Now, when you break down the math, this is why I get uh, what they call quantified or verified on the this site. And I keep challenging any website out there, any guru, if you're not able to provide traffic levels and get your, your your website verified, you're just basically talking through your your ass because um, you have no credibility and it's not verified. And it's not verified by a third party like Quantcast. That's why we do it and we've done it since day one. Now, here's the traffic levels and it, and it kind of keeps getting stronger. Two years ago, I put out a video on this, okay? Back in November, 2015. Well, now it's November, 2017. So. I can tell you that we do this every so often. Now, here's the numbers for Quantcast right here. So if you want to follow along on that simple math here, you can see here 209 make over $150,000 out of this sample. Out of that, the rest uh, make, for those that may not see this through the podcast, 66 make under 50,000, 105 make 50 to 100K, uh, uh, 157 make 100 to 150K. Meanwhile, uh, that's against small sample set, 209 make over $150,000. So when you break down the numbers uh, and get your total and you take your 209 divided by the total of 537, you do get a metric of 38.9% that make over $150,000 to my website at quantlabs.net. Now, again, I challenge any guru out there, any competitor, if they're able to match this claim, I'll then pipe down. Until then, this makes this website, this service, the most profitable website out there to make this kind of, or brings in this kind of traffic. And when you see these kind of stories where uh, companies, specifically hedge funds, are paying out compensation of over $400,000, uh, it goes to show that we're probably bringing in that same type of audience into the website and then indirectly get fed back into uh, my memberships. So as a result, if you're not able to earn uh, a PhD, go through a hedge fund, this is another really good path to go as we've got that community of people to help educate me and help other people, which is currently happening in my, even in my Telegram group and even in the past uh, to attract that. Now, the only thing that's stopping you from making it to this level and be a consistent trader is one thing, your drive, your inner drive to build out your own trading platform and GUIs and whatnot, graphical user interfaces to give you the information you need to get to these levels like over 40% of my traffic does. So this is a good path to take if you are not a top level PhD from a school. So I just want you to remember that you can always come into this membership, into the service that I provide and being November 
27, 22nd, 2017, the current price will not stay low as it is now. And, and as we roll out the next set of strategies and they consistently pr uh, prove to be profitable, the current rate will always go up and will continue to go up as we bring in these type of people. And yet, may I say, we have not even started our online marketing yet to even go after the higher end of the million plus uh, uh, folks in this business. All right, so get on it while you can because it ain't going to be cheaper as of next week. I highly doubt it. Over and out.